It is the day that Fort Worth drivers have been waiting years for. The I 35W expansion is coming to an end. CBS 11's Jason Allen's live in Fort Worth. And Jason, this project has caused headaches for so many people for so many years, but relief is finally on the way. Yes, they are saying, Karen, after five years and a couple months ahead of schedule, they are declaring the project done. Almost. You can see behind me, there's still clearly some significant work that still has to be done on some of the connectors here on 35, but I'll explain more on that in, in just a minute here. For the most part, the $1.6 billion project is finished and will open up to drivers tomorrow morning. This was a project to expand and rebuild 35W from downtown Fort Worth all the way north to 287. Back then when they started, there were 110,000 cars a day driving this stretch. That has grown to 132,000 cars a day now. However, planners will tell you there is really no new congestion because they've been able to manage that extra traffic that's on the road. There are two new lanes. There are two managed toll lanes. There are also new frontage roads. And planners today told us that really those managed toll lanes, they believe, are the best option for traffic in the area now because it gives people a choice if they do want to get somewhere fast. It gives those people an option on how to get to work in a timely fashion. Many of them have spent an hour to an hour and a half on these highways, and those days are over. So you're looking at the main lanes right now. Just to the inside of it are the two managed toll lanes. They're going to open at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. The tolls on that are going to be fixed for the first six months. We're working on getting the amount on that, but it's usually depends on the time of day, anywhere from 75 cents to $1.50. Now, those direct connectors you can see, those involve traffic from eastbound I-30 going north onto 35, also involves a couple of connectors from 35 into the downtown area. They are still going to be doing some work, and there will probably still be some closures from time to time as they work on those through the end of the year. Live this morning in Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.